everybody, it is your boy Twin Plays here, back with another video. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. I know it's been a minute since I've posted a tutorial. Um, thank you for being here. If you're new to my channel, uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. Um, it means so much to me, you guys. Um, in this tutorial, we're gonna be talking about how to make an obby game. Um, this is actually something that I bought and I decided to just give it to you guys because um, I saw it on Twitter one day and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna just buy this and just give it to my everyone because you know why not you know this is a simple kit um and i really liked what he made so i was like you know what this is simple easy and it's honestly a very this can be a very simple tutorial a uh, very simple game um everything is already made for you you honestly just need to drag and click and maybe change a few things if you want um i am going to actually be making probably more videos on this obby game and how to make uh you know certain things if you guys want just leave them in the description just uh feedback or anything um but yeah so we're gonna get straight into this um now so you're actually going to go in the description um so everything should be in the below in the description there's gonna be two things uh one there's gonna be an actual game and one there's gonna be a kit um up to you guys depending on how advanced you are um if you want to do the kit um itself and just get it into your game uh, i do have a kit it's gonna be like this right here and you're just gonna download it try in studio whatever is easier for you um get the model and this will actually just allow you to just put it in your game as a Robux M file, and it's going to look like this. Um, if not, when you do join this, um, I actually, on my profile right here, um, I have a Obby game kit. You can just go right here, and you can click Edit in Studio or just download whatever's easier. I recommend hitting Edit in Studio if you're new to Roblox Studio. And there you go. So you should basically just have this popped up. Now, if you don't know how to upload a game, I recommend just going here and hit publish to Roblox or publish Roblox as, of course. Um, and of course, I will just you know, publish it or whatever. Um, but yeah, so it's going to have this right in here for you. Um, now, after watching this video, it's actually going to be already in the certain thing. So actually specifically talking about that, I will make sure I do that. So you got to make sure you ungroup it. So you go down into here and ungroup. Um, like I was trying to say, actually, if you do have uh, the, the toolbox, go to my models and it'll just be right here. Um, but yeah, just so you know, you go through here, whatever works, starter player scripts, you're going to go drag this down into starter player scripts um, and uh, control U if you want to ungroup, super easy actually. Um, but yeah, like I said, make sure you guys are just um, ungrouping either way. And it does come with UI, so it's actually really nice. Um, but yeah, uh, oh, it looks like the UI is a little messed up. We'll have to fix that. <laughs> but either way, I will have to do that. I will fix that later. Um, so I'll just publish this just in case. Either way, this is the kit. Um, I think honestly, if I were to just to play here, I can actually just start. Um, so yeah, so stage zero, uh, it has a skip all button, um, which is nice. And then it has a skip stage button. So we'll talk about those. Those are the main buttons that you need to change if you want to do things. Um, but what I love about this kit is it's kind of a little, it's a little advanced. It has some things, you know, it has the stages, it has a little progress bar, it has a jump pad with effects, which is awesome and it has sound so that's really really cool um this is a checkpoint boom has effects which is really really nice so i hope you guys do like this um so rotate and kill um this is also another rotating uh part if you want um so that's what i really really enjoy about this kit um and then of course second one boom it has effects and of course it has a ui progress bar which is really nice um jump pad even with more effects, which is awesome. So I, I thought this was really cool because it has just some simple things. Boom, completion, has a little special effects going on here. And that's about it. Um, I don't think this saves if I'm correct, uh, just because, you know, obbies normally work like that where they just don't save. Um, of course, if you die, you're gonna respawn, go to your certain parts, um, but yeah, it's, it's up to you. So, oh yeah, so this is an only rotate part. Uh, this is a kill part. Um, and the kill even has an effect. So, it's actually really, really cool. Um, but yeah, so we're going to hop right into this. It's super simple. Like I said, it's honestly already set up. So, you really don't have to do anything. Which is just makes this 100 times easier. Um, I will explain some of the things, of course, though. So, I'm just going to go in here and publish. But let's quickly fix this starter GUI. Um, it might happen this to you as well. You just want to make sure these all are, uh, you know, um, works with every screen. Uh, I don't remember where I had those. Oh, yeah, auto scale, uh, unit conversion. If, if I'm right, you just use, God, where is it? Oh, wait, we 
it's already open. That's why. Do -do -do -do. You look good. Um, yeah, so hold on. I need to actually just fix these buttons. I don't know why this one's right here. That's a little weird. Um, oh, God, why did this happen? Okay, wait, wait. Give me, give me, give me two seconds. Okay, I fixed that. Just needed to make sure it was all aligned. Um, I'm pretty sure you just do by, uh, yeah, scale and then position by uh, scale as well. Um, so that should just uh, fix the sizes and everything. Um, just in case. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so perfect. All right, it's all scaled and ready. So how this works. Oh, let me just fix this real quick. Okay, so uh, going into here, we have a few things. This is the main thing on here. Uh, let me double check if the button. Yes. Okay. Prompt product purchase everything in here. Yeah. So that's, that sounds about right. Obby server. Um, this has the main functions and then we have the products, uh, product base. Let's just double check config dev product handler. And we have information, skip Obby, skip stage config. And we have the config in here as well, which is nice. Um, yeah, this is a very like well-written kit. Um, I'm going to be honest with you guys, uh, just because the fact that we have, actually, let me just put it back here. We have all these modules and every module checks for dev products and everything like that. So this is like just very high quality made. Um, and it's honestly very simple. Um, but yeah, so talking about how to do anything, honestly, it's already, already set up for you. The only thing, um, and I'll teach you how to make more, uh, obvious, of course, stage one and you have, and then stage two etc all stages three and four i'm guessing you know all you have to do is just uh duplicate uh i don't think it really matters so you know just go from there just duplicate uh you have a winning sound success sound um this i would say is the last one so we'll probably have to duplicate from there which i'll talk about um we'll just make two few separate things just in case um but yeah so when it comes to the uh dev products let me show you how to do that. You're actually just going to go to your game settings and you're going to monetization and you're going to developer products. So I'm going to create two. Okay. Um, you're going to call one is just going to be uh, skip all. You'll want to make this, you know, probably like 500 Robux, just depending on what you do. Save that once again. And then you're going to go skip stage. This one you can do like 60 Robux, you know, never make it too much uh, just because a lot of people play these games and they don't want to spend so much on it. But you're going to get this product ID. So skip all. We're going to copy that ID. Now you want to open up those configs we had. So we have two configs right here. But I don't know which one's which. So skip obby right here. We're going to go to this config. And we're going to change that ID to that one. Okay. So once we do that, um, then we're also going to go down to that text button. Okay. This is the skip all button. We're going to go to the open script. And we're going to also change that ID. That's just allowing us to prompt the product purchase. But just specifically for that dev product. Okay. Um, and then that's your good. You can close that out. Um, and we're gonna go back to game settings. We're gonna monetization, skip stage, copy ID, same exact thing. So go back into this one, which is for the, uh, if you click it right here, you can see it's skip stage. And then you're gonna go to skip stage, config, and you're just gonna change this right here. So now you have everything ready for you. Um, it now, honestly, you're pretty much done, okay? So you don't really need to worry about anything. Um, if you wanna add other stuff into the game, I will do more tutorials on that later. You just got to let me know what you want to do. Um, but yeah, so we have all stages. Let's see. Stage number is max stage. Yeah. So basically, as you can tell, this is kind of going through the leader stats and then uh, talking about the all stages that are in here. Uh, we can go through here and see uh, set up killing parts, set up jump pad. So these are all the th certain things so like jump pad, killing parts, uh, rotating normal part, rotating killing part. Um, so this is kind of how he manages everything. Now, if you want, you can go and make your own through that. I wouldn't recommend touching it though. If you do want to honestly ask ChatGPT to make you some things, it works. It always has, uh, but yeah, particles effects. And, um, yeah, if you want to change these, go ahead and change them as well. Honestly, leave them the way they are. It's up to you, but, um, yeah, let's kind of talk about the main thing. So yeah, these are the camera client. Uh, this is kind of what talks about the spin effects, kill effects, um, all those kind of things. These are all going to be the effects to help you, uh, you know, do certain things. So sh camera shaker and we have fireworks, which is really nice. Um, these are always the client sided things. So basically talking about when people like just have um, effects for them on their screen. Okay. So you're going to close that out, close this out. 
Um, gonna just not worry about any of this. So let's kind of just talk about, you know, making it in general. So when you want to make something, uh, depending on what you do, so you can kind of look through here how they have it, uh, you know, um, the way it is. Uh, so I don't know, like, I don't know why he has to do as these as the sounds, but I guess you don't really need to worry about the sounds. Uh, it's a little confusing, honestly, why he does that. But uh, yeah, don't really worry about those. Um, so creating any part, of course, if we're going to go on, we're going to do more. So actually, let's just do it right now for you. So um, I'm actually just going to, yeah, I'm going to duplicate this. We're going to go a little farther, and we're just going to... You don't need to worry about... I don't think you need these in here. I don't know why they were there. Um, you can call it part or you, whatever you want to do. Uh, but this is stage one. So if you were to duplicate it, uh, you know, all stages, don't worry about that. But this is stage one, so this just kind of has all the parts in it for you, except the little checkpoints. So you do need to worry about that. But let's say... Yeah, let's just say you want to make a stage two, actually. So I will just duplicate this entire folder. Um, or you can just make a new folder, whatever's easier for you. Stage two, um, actually, yeah, let's just get rid of this, technically. Um, and then put this last thing in here. So this is gonna be stage two, okay? So now I can just go into here and just spread it out, uh, whatever I want to do. And then let's say we want to do jump pads, killing, rotating, whatever works. Uh, you can just paste that into here. Um, and then we're gonna move a jump pad. So there's two jump pads right here. This one has, so as you can tell, this has a, yeah, so here we go. So kind of looking at this, this one is just a normal jump pad. And then this one right here has effects and sound. So honestly, just using the templates, make sure you want certain ones, okay? So do you want this one or do you want the one with the effects and sound? You know, they might want to be different. I would recommend, you know, using a normal jump pad if you want to just do a simple jump, but like something like this, if you're going to do something big. Now, uh, the stage two, uh, we need to delete that because there's only one in here. Has a sound also. If you want to change the sound, feel free to. But jump power, I would change this to like whatever, something simple. You can go anything you want. So that's really nice. Um, killing. So we have a kill part. Uh, I will drag this and put it right here again. Whatever works. Um, rotating. So we have a killing one and then uh, just a normal one. Uh, I will also just get rid of these ones and just do the normal one once again right here so it's not too bad or whatever it's just rotating um and yeah so if you guys want actually well i recommend uh when you're done with this when you're done with your obby honestly go through here and just get rid of this uh billboard gui okay i recommend saving the like like the templates in like a server storage or just somewhere you can put them around here and just put them in server storage but make sure you go through this and you just get rid of the little overheads because you don't want that, of course. This is just for demonstration. So like I said, you go in here and delete this attachment as it will delete that little overhead. So once we do that, now we're going to go through here and we have three, okay? This is going to be the final one. It already has winning in it and the middle and all that stuff. So you're going to want to just keep this and keep it at the end. So I'm going to actually just move this forward. Now... I'm going to name this, so this is two, so we're actually going to go back up here, and I'm going to put this right here, and it's going to be, let's just do this, we'll go uh, three, and we'll just do another one, actually we'll go like this, it'll just be funny, we'll go right here, and then we're going to duplicate it again, and this is going to be four, then for the fifth one, I don't know why he just did it that, he should have had it named winning stage or winning checkpoint, <laughs> but five will be the winning one, uh, so it doesn't really matter, uh, you know, what's the last part is always going to be the winning part, but you do need this winning in here, okay? So you got to make sure you have these effects and the uh, sound and everything. So, yeah, so once you go like that, um, that should just be it. So I'm going to hit play one more time. Um, I'm going to go through here, and we're 0%. Now, there is a lot of tutorials I can do, like adding, like, direction or little points you can go to or, like, adding an arrow above the thing. I have done that in the past. So if you want to watch something like that, feel free to. But yeah, so stage, uh, this is a rotipus kill. You see how the speed's a little different? I'll actually explain that later. Um, boom, another one. Boom, jump feg. All right, so now it's working, you see? So, it's not kind of funny. All right, then we got 75%. Uh, that's a jump, and then boom, we're done. So, it's pretty cool. Um, it's got honestly like some really cool effects to it, which I really love. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically it. Super simple. 
Um, if you guys have more questions, feel free to let me know. Um, but yeah, of course, just go into here and you need to configure these certain things. So rotating part it has a rotate speed right here. If you want to configure that, these are just uh, number values and they just are all scripted to do a certain thing, which is, you know, really nice. Um, but yeah, so that's about it. I will honestly just like, uh, I probably will publish this just so you guys can understand how this works. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed the free kit. Um, I try my best for you guys and I'm sorry it's been a little hard with all of the, uh, you know, just like lack of post of stuff. Uh, I'm trying to get it done, you know, so yeah, I appreciate you guys and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> yeah, so.